All right, here we go. Dang it. Hey guys, it's Brandon with Concealed Nation. I have three pistols in front of me, two of which you are probably very familiar with. The first is the Springfield XDS. This is a 9mm, it's a 3.3 inch. And the Glock 26, which is a favorite of many people as well. In the middle here, we have something that you may not have heard of. It's by a company called Honor Defense, which is a new pistol manufacturer. And this one here is what we're going to take a look at today. So we're going to move these two off to the side for just a minute. We're going to bring them back for some comparisons in a little bit. So let's take a look at this. This is the Honor Guard. It's a 9mm and it's from Honor Defense. And we're going to give you a look. This is an exclusive first hands-on look with this. We shot this in Austin. It was when we were first introduced to this pistol and during that event I fell in love with this thing right off the bat and we spoke with Gary Ramey from Honor Defense and they just came out with a fantastic product. There's a lot of experience behind the build of this pistol. They did a whole lot of research and they came out with something really really special here. Right off the bat I will tell you again Honor Defense is a new pistol manufacturer. Everything that you see here is made 100 percent in the USA. Uh, it's manufactured in the US and they are dedicated to keeping it that way. So what we have here is a polymer frame pistol and let's just go over some of the features that they have. This pistol is made for concealed carry. It's a slim line and it's a single stack and if you can see the profile here there is nothing for your clothing or anything to get caught up on. They did a really great job with this and you can even see the uh, this may not turn out too well on here but the slide stop here which by the way is ambidextrous I haven't seen that in a pistol maybe there is a line that has that but um, it's a really nice feature and it is pretty flush with the frame yeah, you can see that right there. It sticks out just a little bit. Um, it hinders the ability a little bit if you want to use it as a slide release, but not everybody does that. So the grip that they have on this, the grip texture, is it's really nice. It's really comfortable. It's not abrasive, and it's, uh, it's a real pleasure to shoot this for an extended period of time. This pistol, by the way, has over 7,000 rounds through it and the report is that they haven't had a single issue with it. None of the parts have been replaced so everything that this pistol was made with it's still running with and it hasn't run into any problems whatsoever. This is the exact pistol that I shot in Austin. I shot this at SHOT Show as well and then here it is they send it to us for us to give you this in-depth look. So let's get on with the features here. So we have uh, ambidextrous magazine release as well as the slide stop as I had mentioned earlier. We have two spots here on both sides. Now this model as you can see all that is is an insert and it's actually part of the, uh, the interior here. So what would be in this place would be a manual safety. So they do offer a version with a manual safety and that's where that would be. And we have the takedown lever right here and I'll show you how to take this down in just a few minutes. We have the slide serrations on both the back and the front and I will point out that these slide serrations are not sharp, they're nice and smooth and they still allow you to get a really good grip on that to bring the slide back. 
As for the sights, we have the two white dot sights in the back, and there's a nice bright orange sight for the front, which gives great visibility in low light conditions. One thing, a side note that I will mention with these, uh, the rear sights, if you have sights in mind, if you were to pick this up and you didn't like these sights, any sights that fit the Glock 42 will also fit this pistol. So that's a nice, that's a nice feature, I guess, to have. Um, so you will have sights to choose from that were made for the Glock 42. Now, as you can see, this has a flush magazine here. And we'll go ahead and take this out. Now, this is a seven round magazine. And of course, they offer an extended magazine, which gives you a full frame grip and an extra round. So I'll put this one in here, and as you can see, now you have the spot for your pinky there, and it has a really great feel to it. Okay, let's take this down. So again, we have the takedown lever is right here. So what we're gonna do, take the magazine out, which we already have, and lock the slide back. And all you have to do is flip this takedown lever so it's pointing straight down and then we will just pull back on the slide just a little bit let it come forward and that's it no trigger pull and we can just pull it right off and there you have it really super simple takedown so we'll give you a quick look at the inside of the frame here if we can get some good light on there Seven thousand rounds, over seven thousand rounds, have gone through this. And for the slide, pop the spring out here. So we have the recoil spring here and the barrel. So let's take a look at the inside of the slide here. Pretty standard stuff. And reassembly is just as you would expect. Drop the barrel in and put the recoil spring assembly back in. And then we line this up with the rails. And then we're gonna lock it back. And then once it's locked back, we can flip the lever back up. And that's it for takedown and reassembly. Let's give you some comparisons here. Again, we have the Glock 26. So we'll put these two side by side so you can take a look. It is a slimmer design, but again, it's a single stack versus the 26, which is a double stack. And as far as length goes, just about the same. We do have a little extra height on the honor on the honor guard. And we'll give you a comparison here with the XDS, which is another single stack. Here's the side profile. And we can see length Again, with this is just about the same. The honor guard looks like it's a, just a hair longer. And then we take a look at the height and they come in, actually, those are pretty close. So, 
<laughs> How's this? Can you shoot these both at the same time? So this is a really, really great addition to anyone's concealed carry lineup. One of the things that I will note is that even when I first picked this up, when we were in Austin, Texas for an event, I picked it up off the table and I'm looking at it and I start to manipulate the slide a little bit and I noticed just how smooth it was. It wasn't hard to pull back and it just, it just felt so great, the entire thing. And everyone that I've spoken with over at Honor Defense, uh, most of my contact has been with Gary and really great group of people that just want to do things right. They wanted to get this right. And there was some hold up with the production because a few things were just off. They weren't meeting their specs. And they said, you know what? We're gonna hold off on putting this out because it's not right yet. And we wanna get it just right. And they waited until everything was perfect in their eyes. And they did, like I said, a very, very, very good job with this pistol. For, for the first pistol being out from a company, they hit it right out of the ballpark. They took their time and like I said, they just, they did it right. If this looks at all appealing to you, which I hope that it does because I see this as being an extremely popular pistol for concealed carry once people are familiar with the brand and what it's able to do. There have already been holsters made for this, so you are going to have accessories available when these are available. And guess what? These are available now. They already started shipping to distributors, and you can give your local gun shop a call to see if they have any in. And if they don't have any in, tell them that you're interested in this because it's up to the dealers to find these from the suppliers. So I want to see these in every gun shop across America. I think that it's going to be a really popular item. Again, once people learn about the company and learn about the product and what they have, once people get this in their hands, they're going to love it. It feels really great. It's a lot of fun to shoot, um, really accurate, and it's just, it's quality is what it is. It's really great quality from a brand new company but that brand new company has people behind it that have a heck of a lot of experience in this industry. So if this looks appealing to you, like I said, call your gun store, stop in and tell them about it if they don't have it. It's the Honor Guard from Honor Defense. One of the other things that I will mention, I mentioned earlier that this spot right here is for a manual thumb safety that comes in another model. There is a third model available and it's called the fist model. And I'll put a picture up of this. I don't have it with me right now, but the frame on the fist model extends out. What it does is it gives you a barrier between whatever's in front of your pistol and the firearm itself. So if you can imagine, if this pistol were pushed up against something, it could easily put it out of battery by pushing it back just a little bit. And now you can't fire the gun. It's, it's rendered useless. So what that fist feature does is it creates that barrier. And like I said, even if it's up against something, it's not going to push back on the slide and you'll still be able to fire the gun. Plus, it looks pretty badass in my opinion. So now the MSRP on this pistol is $499. Who knows what dealers are going to have them for. There are a few of these floating around on GunBroker right now, or at least they were when this video was made. So if you really did want to get your hands on one and you just can't wait for a place in your area to have them, check out GunBroker. Maybe you'll get lucky and find one. But I can say with a lot of confidence that if you are going to check this out and you buy it, you're not going to be disappointed. I've said it a hundred times in this video so far, this is a great, great pistol. Let me give you one more quick look at this. Let 
give you a close up of the the grip texture here too. If we can get the light to work here. So this is your first in-depth look at all the features that this new pistol has to offer to you guys. You really can't go wrong. As soon as I'm able to get one of these, I'm not keeping this one, obviously. This is one that has been used at various shows. Like I said, it has over 7,000 rounds and it's still going very strong. But as soon as I have the chance to purchase one for myself, I'm going to. And like I said, there are holsters that are available for these already. I'm not sure of the manufacturers yet, but I know that there are some out there. They, they already have them ready to go for people to buy. So that's a really important thing for people who are looking to buy this for concealed carry. Of course, they want a holster to go along with it as soon as possible. So they're out there. Go check around and you're going to find them available. All right, that's about it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please check out Honor Defense. Go Google them. They'll pop right up. And great company, great people, great products. So as usual, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have a lot of new videos coming out in the future, uh, reviews, and all sorts of other stuff. Find us also on Facebook at facebook.com slash ccwnation. And of course, our website at concealednation.org. All right, guys, that's it for this video. We'll see you next time.